Well, hello, everybody. It's your boy, Avery. And if you hear snoring, I do apologize. That's one of the characters in the game. I don't know why. I have my headphones in, and now I don't have any sound. But I didn't want the speaker that I have on my desktop to make a bunch of sound. So, because uh, that's what happened with my deck profile with uh, Dave Hudson. I have a speaker here on uh, the side of my computer. And it was making a bunch of noise. And so I ended up like kind of butchering the um what do you call it? The audio a bit. In fact, I'm gonna turn this down a bit for you because I genuinely don't know what it sounds like at all. So we're just playing without sound. But yeah, I wanted to make another podcast episode because um, I'm still sort of, I guess, recovering from uh, my trip to Boca Raton, coming in 27th place at the regional. And, you know, it's it's funny in a way, you know, like the fact that I got 27th place after my window got broken into and... Uh, Obviously, I'm very happy that I got my invite, um, but I did honestly forget. Oh, we got some friends. I did honestly forget. Uh, we need to go and heal. These guys are fast. I did honestly forget how angry the Yu-Gi-Oh community gets if you tell someone that you topped and you didn't come in top eight. Like people, people get really pissed off about that on uh, on YouTube. And, like, here's the thing, right? Like, the highest I ever finished was 18th place. And that was... Actually, I want this. And that was... Uh, with Trickstar. And, you know, even then, like I said, I topped. I came in 18th place, got my invite, whatever. And to me, getting a top is, like, getting your invite. Like, if you get your invite, you top the event. You know, when the head judge says that the cutoff for topping is top 32 and you top, you know, you, you get your invite, you top the event. That's what it is in my mind. Um, you know, but people, I guess, get pissed off saying that I topped when it's like, you know, I've always viewed it as if you say that the top is only the top eight, then that's your opinion. Um, just because, you know, me, I can't just wake up and go to a fucking event and just top it. Like, I, I have to bust my ass. I gotta, you know, play test like crazy. You know, all of that. And so, I had a dude who commented on my deck profile and was like, anyone that says that they topped and it wasn't top eight, I don't listen to. I unsubscribed. And I'm like, dude, my fucking sub count was at 757 the whole time. Like, nothing fucking changed. So clearly, you weren't subscribed. You're just a troll. Like, you need to get the fuck out. And, like, look, to each their own, uh, it, it really doesn't bother me. You know, to me, I view it as I got my invite, I topped the event, I came within the top 32. You know, that's how I view it. You know, if, if people want to get pissed off about that, that's on them. You know, it's really not a big deal to me what people say is a top and what's not. Um, it's it's one of those things. So anyway, I figured I would post a podcast episode and just chill out and just play some games a bit and uh, just talk about some things that are on my mind. I got my uh, broken window fixed. Luckily, it, it didn't cost me anything, which was really nice. I was really afraid I was going to have some sort of copay, um, but I didn't pay anything. Um, and so I've got my brand new window. I just have to probably end up paying to get it retinted because when I bought the car back last March, so it's just over a year old, um, it came with tint. So who knows what's going to happen when it comes to getting that all done and fixed up and all that. But I'm being positive about it. Like, I'm, I'm happy that nothing got stolen. I'm happy that, uh, you know, I don't really have to worry about the hell was that? I couldn't hear the beeping if there if it was a bomb. So, like, I literally have my headphones on right now, and I have no sound. I don't know why. Good lord. Okay, then. Well, anyway, we're at the X13 facility now. 
Uh, yeah, so I, I ended up, I finished the game. Uh, I was going to do that on camera, but then I was just like, eh, whatever. Ended up finishing the game today, and now I'm doing the, uh, uh, I'm doing Old World Blues, which it's, it's cool. Like, it's not bad. Career capacity, mind, or capable of many, focus, as many, and sign, and all the physical systems. Go and set the X8 for further study. Ship notice, everything's under control down here. If I need your I'll let you know. Pair, pair is been long, shortly. We already got the upgrade from X8. We just have to go to X13. So, but, uh, life is good. I'm, I'm really happy that um, everything worked out in regards to the car and everything. Um, that was really weird how that happened because it was just like, you know, I'd never heard anything in the middle of the night. Obviously, it happened in the middle of the night. I don't know if the dude got spooked or what, but uh, I don't know. I'm just happy that like nothing got stolen. And uh, the only thing I really had to walk away from it with was uh, a little bit less pride in my vehicle. But I'm not really too concerned about that. My biggest concern was just getting the car fixed. And, you know, thank God that that happened. So, but it just sucks that someone would do that to a fucking car. It's like, what, what are you really gaining out of being a fucking asshole? Like, what are you expecting to take? Do you really think someone's that dumb to leave their Dodge Challenger that sticks out like a red sore fucking thumb that I would be stupid enough to like leave shit in my car? Like the only stuff that I had that was of uh, any value was in my trunk and even then like all I had was like a portable battery a towel and a bathing suit like that's all that I had everything else was up in my hotel room so I don't know people just they gotta be dicks and, and like it, it I don't know like it just sort of rubbed me the wrong way that someone would just troll and say like you didn't top I'm unsubbing it's like dude you're not even fucking subscribed in the first place like go eat my ass, like, honestly, especially, too, because, like, big trips like that just wear me the fuck out, and I just don't have any patience, and I'm a very impatient person as it is, um, at the same token, like, I, like I said earlier, I get it to a degree, like, people in, uh, my local Jacksonville Yu-Gi-Oh community, they only list the players in Jacksonville who have, like, high-ranking tops, so, like, if you topped eight or you did well at, like, a YCS or something, then they'll list you on, like, the list of players that have topped events. You know, obviously, they're not going to list if Billy Bob went to 20 regionals and finished top 32 every time, whereas someone like Jeremy Mitchell, who goes to 20 regionals and he top 32s every single one, but he comes in top eight at every single one. Like, obviously, coming in the top eight is better. I understand that. But as someone who can't just, you know, snap their fingers like they're fucking Thanos and get their... Uh, get their invite, like, I have to really bust my ass for it, so, you know, there's always going to be people who got to be toxic, like, that's just how it is, and I, I understand that, um, but I guess, word to the wise, you know, don't be an asshole to people, um, which, I guess, I'm one to talk, considering that, uh, I, uh, am, I, I guess some people would say, like, a dick online, like, just because of the fact that, uh, X13 testing lab requires a key, uh, because of, like, my persona on YouTube, unlock elevator to test chamber, activate this terminal, please equip the stealth suit MK2, stealth suit MK2, what the hell, um, anyway, um, but, uh, you know, my persona on YouTube, I, I take on, like, a blunt personality. And so, because of that, I guess some people think I'm a dick. From what I understand, at least. And to me, it's like, you know, obviously if I'm at a regional or something, I'm not going to, like, be an asshole to you. Like, I'm, I'm not that kind of person. You know, if, if you beat me and you don't cheat me, I'm going to say, hey, man, you know, GG, that was a great game you know, congrats on the win, or, you know, I'm going to say, hey, you know, if I beat you, I'm going to say, hey, you know, good luck the rest of the way, man, like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna get angry, like, I'm not a violent person, 
but you know some people just I feel like some people especially ever since like COVID hit and all that I feel like some people are just uh a lot more angry they're a lot more I guess insecure about themselves so they have to put other people down to make themselves feel good which I mean if you have to do that for yourself like I'm, I'm sorry that your life is that sad um like I, I genuinely am like that's not me trying to be a dick that's just me being completely honest um I get it like it it, it sucks it sucks to have a, a sucky life I mean I've dealt with a lot of shit in my time um you know it's I didn't realize that was an objective but okay um it's not ever easy to have to deal with difficult things in life um but you also have to be able to take life by the horns and you got to be able to say you know I'm, I'm, I'm gonna deal with this um and I, I don't think that everybody has the capacity to do that which is a shame because it's like you know everybody deserves a best life everybody deserves a little happy life um but some people just they want to be an asshole to other people because they just feel like that their life doesn't have a chance of ever doing well. Oh, well, Callus has been dead for years then. <laughs> um, and like I said, it sucks to be those people. But don't put people down when they finally get an invite since it had been since 2017 since I last got one. Like, just just don't do that. Like, you know, a perfect example for me would be like someone like Doug Zeef. You know, I personally think that DZ from time to time kind of comes off like a pompous asshole. But my personal feelings about him, they could very well be wrong, number one. Number two, it's not going to ignore the fact that he is a competent Yu-Gi-Oh player. He's had a lot more tops than I have. Even though, like, in his videos, in my humble opinion, like, he just sounds like a dull uh, teacher, like, who gives a three-hour lecture at, like, a college class and doesn't shut up for any of it, and he just talks the whole fucking time. And he's got, like, a whole, like... His his voice is just bland and dull and just sounds boring AF. And, like, I get it. Like, that's... What the hell was that? Oh, shit. I didn't even hear myself getting hit. I guess that's what I get for talking shit about DZ. I must have been getting hit and I didn't even feel it. Because, again, I don't have any sound. <laughs> Okay, then. Well, that's a thing. Um, let's just go ahead and do this again, I guess. Um, oh, well, here's the boots. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, in my in, in my humble opinion, like, he's just, like, a, a pompous, like, jerk. You obtain the oral stealth suit. Not only can it be upgraded through testing at next 13, it also has medics and stim pack reserves while your pain dampening needs. Medics and stim packs not included. That's actually pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I mean, like, that's just, that's my opinion, but I'm not gonna, you know, even though that's my opinion of him, I'm not gonna, you know, ignore the fact that he is a good, competent player, you know, that, that's the point I was trying to make before I ruthlessly got destroyed, <laughs> so, but, uh, TLDR just... You know, treat people with respect. That's what it's really about at the end of the day. You know, you don't have to be an asshole to prove your point. You know, you could just say, hey, man, congrats on getting 27th place. But unfortunately, you know, in the eyes of the majority of the community, it's not seen as a top. You know, you don't have to be like, oh, I'm unsubbing because of, you know, blah, 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 blah. Like, if you don't agree with it, then you don't agree with it. Like, that's that's what it's all about. I'm really afraid that in post-production, I'm going to have like a whole bunch of loud sound and you won't be able to hear my voice at all. All right, so we walked. We walked in here. We walked out and then we started getting attacked. All right, then the aha. Who 
Those things did a lot of damage. These Night Stalkers are insane. I wonder if I can turn on my light and, like, have them show up. Like, that was a lot of damage. Huh. Alrighty, then. Well, drink all the water. <laughs> but, all of that aside, I am really happy that um, the car got dealt with. Yep, there it is. Now they're just walking all over the place. Um, <clears throat> I'm really happy that it did get dealt with. Um, I just hope that, uh, you know, I'll be able to get the, um, get the tint fixed soon, too. So... So hopefully I'll be able to get back to regularly scheduled programming and uh, just keep on uploading videos and just enjoying doing what I do. So other than that, I'm going to go ahead and save my game. Guys, thank you for watching. Thanks for just listening in as I drink my sweet tea. My lemonade, excuse me. And I will see you guys in the next video.